Cursor just rolled out a new wipe coding feature, a visual editor built in their browser, so you can design, inspect and edit your app all in one place. Instead of jumping between your IDE, browser and dev tools, you can run your app inside Cursor, open it with their browser and turn on the visual editor overlay. And from there you can click anywhere on the page to see which component the element belongs to, which props and styles it's using and tweak it visually until you are happy with the results. And then click apply and the cursor agent will make code changes for you. Sounds cool, but is it really that helpful? And who is the real target audience of the visual editor? Let's take a look at this new feature in Cursor and figure it out. Okay, so here is the Cursor and I opened a small project I've created for this demo. And now let's run it. I will just run yarn dev in the terminal and Cursor immediately suggests it to open with its browser. And here is the simple website I made for this demo. So uh, here is the browser and on the right hand side if you want you can also have this uh, AI chat but I will hide it for now because I'm going to uh, enable this uh, visual editor instead. Uh, so here I run a React app, uh, so in this components uh, thing we can see uh, different uh, divs on the page and other tags, h1s, p's, with the uh, classes like CSS classes they have. If you uh, select this little uh, cursor thingy it will let you to select the element and will show you all the props of the CSS and also component properties that it has. And so you can easily inspect the elements here. Uh, but this is not that much different from the dev tools in Google Chrome, for example. So what's so special about this visual editor? Let's just take a look at this uh, sidebar and see what we have here. So first of all, if you select an element, you can inspect its position and sizes and also layout. Uh, you can choose if you want it to be a free form or column or row or even grid. So this column and row is a flexbox uh, property and if you choose this you can also change the alignment uh, easily here. This honestly is not very intuitive for me. As a developer I would rather just uh, go into the CSS property and just would change the flex direction here but for people who are not so familiar with CSS for example the visual editor can simplify it. Uh, in the grid you can choose the grid itself, you can change the gap between the uh, parts of this grid and etc etc. So let's leave it as a row and this is something that I would like to fix. Uh, you can see that this search bar is not aligned nicely here. So how can I do that? And honestly this is a bit tricky in this visual editor. I selected the parent container uh, that has this div with the input and the button and I've already enabled it a row uh, to be a row in the flex box and yeah I can change the alignment. So if you want to change it you need to select this input, uh, not even the input itself but the div that wraps it and then here in the dimensions uh, you need to click this little drop down arrow and you can see that uh, you also have a few options here, fit contents and fill container and the fill container will make this input to take the uh, free space that is available and that's what we need. And yeah, uh, even though it's quite easy to change here as a developer personally I would do that in the code quicker and easier. Uh, so what else we can do? We can change paddings and margins of course, uh, border box uh, value we can switch it uh, on and off, uh, there is an opacity, uh, border radius and of course we can also change the typography and colors. 
Uh, so the cool feature of this visual editor uh, is that if you have a design system and if you have your design tokens as CSS variables, you can easily see them in this uh, visual editor in the drop downs for colors. And this I find really handy. So you don't have to go into the code and see which colors do you have. You can just easily change them here. If I want to change this search button, I can go here to the background and change it to any color from my design system. I think designers will really appreciate it. You can also change the fonts and immediately see how it will look like. Another feature that uh, users may like uh, is drag and drop. You can not just change the appearance, you can also swap elements. Uh, so if I do this and then hit apply, let's see what will happen. Uh, it will take all your changes and it will pass it to the agent that will go and apply them. Uh, so uh, it is kind of good. If you don't want to write a long prompt for each small change, you can just do them in this visual editor and then make this like a bulk update. So now you can see that it actually uh, changed the button. It changed it for everything, of course. Uh, I don't know why there are two buttons here. Yeah, so changes applied. Let me refresh. Yeah, so. Uh, if I refresh, it's all good. The button is uh, only one. And what else can you do? You can also uh, change this uh, component properties. Let's find some component. Uh, let's click at this input. And you can see there are a few uh, properties here. Placeholder, for example. You can change it uh, right here. Uh, you can also easily change uh, colors to gradients, linear or radial. Uh, quite a funny feature. I uh, don't know if I'm going to use it ever. Uh, but yeah, it is there. You can also add some shadows, borders and all these kind of stuff. And another uh, feature uh, you can use here is uh, you can select a component, for example, uh, this title, and it will be selected here in your chat. So you can write a prompt targeting a particular component and you don't need to explain in your prompt that you want to change this H1 component on the home page, blah, blah, blah. You just point to it and you do whatever you want and it, it it make it makes prompting a bit quicker and you can also do a quick screenshot you can select an area and uh, this the image will be popped to the chat as well as you can see and uh, it also make it easier to work with the agent with the chat that's what you can do with this editor and my personal opinion is not super helpful for me because i'm quite good at html and css and react in and front end in general so i'd rather go and change it myself quicker maybe for the back-end developers or designers or just uh, customer who wants to play with fonts this could be good and if you also don't want to touch uh, code as, at all and you just want to do some visual changes yeah that's good the only benefit i can see here is that you can do uh, multiple ui changes quickly clicking the buttons here and then you can just uh, apply them in a single prompt you don't need to type a lot. For people who are older than me or as old as me at least, uh, this thing may remind something that existed like 20 years ago. And I'm talking about the Dream Viewer. Uh, I think it was some kind of the front end ID that had components and these components you could edit. So we are kind of going back 
to that point and honestly uh, I don't know if I'm happy about it or not and I don't know how popular this feature will be for cursor users but I think it's definitely worth knowing that it is there and you can use it but yes that's all for today uh, that's all I wanted to show you and if you enjoyed this video you find it useful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for my channel thank you so much and see you in the next video